Missouri's minimum wage is increasing by 30 cents next year to $12.30 an hour. Since 2018, minimum wage has risen each year due to Proposition B. But this year, it's being raised to account for the increased cost of living. I found out more today about the cost of living in Missouri and if 30 cents will be enough to make a difference. Curly is a barista and full-time student in Columbia. She makes slightly above minimum wage at her current job and is welcoming the 30 cent increase. Minimum wage is, I mean, when it was instituted, it was supposed to be a wage, a livable wage, and I don't think that's what it is now. According to the Missouri Economic Research and Information Center, Missouri's cost of living index right now is 88.3 when compared to the national average. Columbia has a slightly higher cost of living than the state at 90 on the index. Grocery and housing costs are higher while utilities are slightly lower. 30 cents more an hour in 2024 is, I'm afraid to say, not even a drop in the bucket to what's needed to help families survive. Verna LaBoy with Boone County Upward Mobility says the community is in a crisis. That's not even $2,000 a month gross. And if you're a single family head of household person, that's impossible without support. Economics professor Joe Haslag says this increase is a big deal because inflation is impacting how the state treats minimum wage. He says the extra 30 cents an hour is likely compensating workers for how much goods and services will increase next year. Whatever purchasing power they enjoyed this year uh, with the minimum wage, when their minimum wage goes up that 30 cents, it will compensate them enough to continue the same um, standard of living. Now, Haslag tells me this is a sign inflation is coming down, and I'll have more about that coming up tonight at 6.